everyone can be a winner as the Bulls are running out to try and take the two points and win. It could be a victorious day for so many people here at Odds this afternoon. Steve Crossley leads the Bradford Bulls out. The popular terrace erupts. The red, amber and black scarves and flags in the air. We're about to get proceedings underway on Bradford Bulls Live on Pulse 2. The Bradford Bulls line up once again. Ethan Ryan at fullback. The wing three quarter line of D. Fogging Johnston, Jake Webster, Ross Oaks, and Reese Evans. The half back will see Rowan Milnes return to action for the first time since he suffered the knee injury in that 24 10 defeat away at Sheffield. And he will partner Manny Wilde. The forwards then Liam Kirk, Sam Haller, Steve Crossley, Manny Stoughton, Connor Farrell, and Elliot Minchella. And on the bench is Gibson Green, Flanagan, and Wood. We're up and running. The Bulls in their traditional home shirt of red, amber and black hoops. They will play from right to left. They will play towards the South Bank stand in this first half. And immediately Sam Hallis on tackle number one. There was appeals for a penalty for a high tackle, Damien. Well, I think it was uh, it was Liam Kirk that took that first hit up off the kickoff, and it looked like an awkward tackle. He fell into it, and it went sort of high. And again, on his right shoulder there, he's got a burner, which we saw two weeks ago against Toulouse. It looks like he awkwardly fell on that shoulder. A little bit of early concern. We talked about being short up front with the big boppers today for Bradford Bulls. We don't want to see an injury there early for the Bulls early uh, on one of the props. Yeah, Liam Kirk. On will come the Bradford Bulls physio. So some early discomfort for Liam Kirk. Bradford on the last tackle. Maddie Stoughton will play the ball. Five metres shy of the halfway line. Out of dummy half from on the last tackle. No complaints from me. And Lee are now going to tap the ball from Hyam to Douglas. Douglas has a tilt at the Bradford line. Crossley and Kirk standing tall. And Douglas is going to play the ball inches away from that Bradford line. Hyam's looking on that far stand side to Richardson, to Woods, along the line now to Toby Adamson. Adamson, a good hit up and contact from Wilde and Farrell, the two former Featherstone Rovers players. A lot of contest there as it goes from Hyam and they're going to crash over. Quick play of the ball. Hyam sends it to Sam Brooks and Sam Brooks, he made one appearance for the Bulls under Jeff Tuve. Um, two not the end of the world there for the Bulls, but they'd like to just tighten up the end of that set there and try and get repeat sets down the far end because that's rugby league. Lee have gone straight down the other end and in one set they've got the points. And likewise at Boovham Crescent between York and Sheffield. Hallis out of dummy half to Crossley. Crossley's brought down. He's been an ever-present for the Bulls in 2019. Just one of five players who played in every game. As Milnes to Webster. Webster with a line break. And Webster will go past Bentley and McNally. And the Bulls have hit back in quick-draw fashion. And it's Bradford Bulls four. Lee Centurion six. We've just said Damien. Crossley. Back in on tackle number three. And Stefan March is going to be pushed back inside his own 20. So good line speed. And the force, the error on Stefan March. Steve Crossley, Liam Kirk, take a bow. This will be a scrum head and feet to the Bradford Bulls. In good field position. 20 metres out from the lee line. Centre field. Five metres away now the Bulls. Two tackles remaining. Hallis to Crossley. Who can stop Steve Crossley? He offloads the ball to Michella. Michella's over the line. Elliot Michella, has he got the ball down? It's looking like Brooks and Adamson have turned him over on his back. And the referee says Michella has not grounded the ball. He's held up and we're going to go back to the 10. But the pressure continues here. Bradford 4, Lee 6. 13 and a half minutes gone. Mills kicks ahead for Stoughton. Barry Stoughton! Latches onto the ball and the Bulls, it's the young homegrown heroes, Mills peppers it past Greg McNally and Manny Stoughton will touch down for his first try of the season. John Keir's biggest team calls, Mills back out there and garnering points, Michella from in front, Bradford Bulls live on Pulse 2, it is Bradford Bulls 10. Lee Centurions, six. Turned by Luke Adamson. So Lee now applying some pressure here. The 30 metres out from that Bradford line, just to the left of centre field, as once again Luke Douglas, industrious, formidable, going through a mountain of work in this first half, as Hyam finds Josh Woods. Back again to Douglas. Douglas brought down by Ethan Ryan, 10 metres out from that 
Bradford line in a centre field position. Richardson misses out Bentley, floats it out wide. Defogging Johnson has moved forward, and that's created the opening for Johnny Powell's away on this main stand side. He goes past Staunton, goes past Foggy Johnson, goes past Webster. He's still going. It's Johnny Powell. Powell towards the line. He's brought down by Green and Wood on the last tackle. Ten metres out, and Lee with a penalty in front of the posts. And John Duffy says. Just moving it around the ruck. We committed a lot of players into tackles, the Bulls, three and four at a time. But that's also leading susceptible on the fringes. To Try the line as Bradford appeal for a penalty in front of the post. And it's Mikey Wood who's brought down. He'll get a quick play of the ball in. Milnes kicks ahead early for Foggy Johnston. Foggy Johnston putting pressure on Pownall. Pownall just gets there and forces the goal line drop out. We've now got 70 seconds remaining in a gripping, thrilling first half here at Odsall as it goes from Wilde to Green. Green with a left. Get past. And Emmett, fourth tackle gone. Bradford eight metres out in front of the post. And James Green has been held down in the tackle by Jacob Emmett has just sounded Elliot Minchella then to lock this one up it will be Bradford Bulls 12 Lee Centurions 12 at half time Jake Webster and Manny Storden with the tries from the Bulls Minchella one successful we'll him up on the halfway line back it comes with Richardson Richardson to Woods and Woods pass has been picked up here by Reece Evans Evans to Wilde, Wilde's away down this main stand side and Wilde's brought down 10 metres out from the Lee Centurions try line it was a try serving tackle there from Toby Adamson and the Bulls now can smell blood they've got a full set of blood they've got a full set of six naturally from that Lee try line already from the Bradford Bulls and this is now the fifth and last Alice. 10 metres out, it goes to Wilde, Wilde to Farrell, Farrell's wrapped up on the power play, he's kept the ball alive, centre field to Hallis, Hallis over the head of Wilde, Wilde's still going, to Mills, Mills to Staunton, back to Mills, to Webster, Webster, Johnston, fucking Johnston, Johnston's in at the corner is he, has he got it down, the referee will have a... Workman like defence from Lee, and I tell you what, Damien, Lee are here, they're hungry, and I don't know what was better, Damien, the attack or that defence from the Lee Centurions, and Lee Centurions now will tackle number one and fall short. So the Bulls are absolutely attacking both the falling head and defensively here. Absolutely superb. That was a beautiful set of attack. They had them under the cost. They certainly did Lee Centurions run under the puff. But some desperation defence and also, to be fair, holding down in the ruck, which led to the two penalties because they were on the back foot so much. Then it came on the fifth tackle play, a little short side play that came to nothing. But second phase, third phase, ball being represented. Everybody, Wilde was outstanding. Goal. And the referee, well, is he going to the back pocket again? He is. Here we go. Lee Centurions down to 11 men here at Odsall Stadium. And it is the Ickers with one of the Bradford Bulls players and that was Jake Webster and now Jake Webster is going and it's going to be Wildey out of dummy half looking for options Wildey now to Green Green's going to be brought down and Green's brought down five metres out in front of the lead line can this lead resolve break? potentially Mills out to Johnston Johnson's been caught high here we go the referee will say that one is on the last tackle and Johnston's been cleaned out on that far stand side Johnston finally gets to his feet and the balls are in out of dummy half and it's Ethan Ryan Ethan Ryan played the percentages played the space very little room for manoeuvre on the last 30 metres out just Need to lock up that, that ruck area the Bradford Bulls do. Luke Douglas now hitting it up and he gets over the 20 metre line and he's just eight, uh, what, 18 metres out on the attack. Luke Douglas on tackle number four for the Lee Centurions. Hood towards and that is a monster hit there from Jake Webster. The referee will stop the clock. Greg McNally. An hour gone in this game. 20 minutes remain and the game on a knife edge. Lee, Richardson, Woods. Adamson, Toby Adamson brought down two metres out. Last tackle, Hood from dummy half. He's lost the ball as Liam Hood 
and it's picked up there by Manny Wilde. Here goes Manny Wilde. He's got a foot race with McNally. McNally, can he get Wilde? McNally putting everything into the chase back. But Manny Wilde will go the distance. Listen to the noise and also the roost is blown off. He's heading down the M606 and the Bulls lead 20 points to 12. An unbelievable try against the runner play from Barry Wilde. And that has come from another error from the Lee Centurions inside the Bradford half. Liam Hood and Liam Hood go surging forward out of dummy half. And Liam Hood goes close for Lee. Richardson to Woods. Out wide to Marsh. Stefan Marsh is in at the corner. But no, he isn't. He's been dragged into touch there by Ethan Ryan and Ree Evans. What a try saving tackle from Ryan and Evans. Just when it looked. And this one's not over yet. Lee, nine and a half minutes to save this game. Richardson. He's lost the ball. It's picked up by Ree Evans. Here goes Ree Evans. He's got a foot waist on Stefan Marsh. Ree Evans. He's going to take the ball home. The Bulls. The picks Lee's pockets again, and that will be the game. 24 points to 12. Underneath the post, the Welsh International will go. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You'd thought Lee would have learnt the lesson after the first time. But Danny Richards. the far stand side it's now going to go to Hallis Hallis brought down there by Luke Douglas and Douglas wraps him up 10 seconds remaining the crowd are going to count us down listen to the noise when that hooter goes Webster rolled over on his own 30 metre line here's the hooter full time here at Oxford Stadium Bradford return to winning ways